course it's a zero percent um, uniqueness this is two variations where the, it's only a 46 percent difference which you may think sounds very high it's actually not for something to be treated as unique content by TikTok, it needs to be above an 80% difference. So a lot of the variations that we were using, for example, turned out to be not that unique at all. Ones that we expected to be um, to be quite good, to be completely honest, it turns out TikTok is uh, detecting it as duplicate content. So we need this score to be above 80% in order for something to be treated as unique content. And again, it doesn't also it also doesn't mean that if something is completely unique that it's going to go viral, quite a big thing. And I'm just gonna give you a little tip here. The reason a lot of you are also getting low views at the moment, if you're doing unique organic content, it is often going to be due to like the proxy or IP address or VPN or strategy that you have for creating the account. I can assure you TikTok hasn't died. We're still doing incredibly well on it. In fact, uh, our accounts are <laughs> the reposting accounts are performing better than ever. Um, so it's definitely not a case of like TikTok has come to an end. It's a case of you, you need to refine your strategy. If you're doing reposting, I suggest you to run whatever strategy you were doing for editing your content and repurposing it, run it through the unique content checker. And this is literally going to give you an exact score on how unique your content actually is. So we have a saying in the UK, which would be, throwing shit in a wall, uh, at a wall and hoping some of it sticks. And of course, some of it does stick. If we make enough variations, some of them are going to get views and we can assume that's good. However, there are a ton of other like variables at play, right? In terms of the trust score of the account, the IP address, what the device was on, the warm-up strategy, did you do something that caused TikTok to flag your account? There's a ton of all these different things that, that are at play. Um, whereas, and so you could kind of get mixed up and you upload a video and it doesn't go viral and you assume that it's because the the content was a duplicate but in fact it could have been any number of a hundred other things that you've kind of slipped up on uh, during the account creation process and so now you can literally be 100 percent certain this is exactly what we have been doing um, to make sure that we're uploading unique content before before anything goes on to TikTok. So it saves a ton of time. It also reduces accounts getting flagged because once you are caught uploading duplicate content, uh, we, we're quite sure it affects the trust score of the account kind of go, going forward. So yeah. Um, next up, we will go on to the AI generator. Um, so here we are generating a unique video. One thing that I will say is I, like suggest you to comply with all of the local laws of wherever it is that, that you're based regarding using other people's material and, and copyrighted content. Um, so in this case, if you're downloading videos of another creator, you should have their permission or talk to them first and check with the like local laws and, and guidelines and regulations in whatever area you're, you're based in. Uh, I don't want anyone coming crying to me saying that they were using some viral models content and uh, and they were getting sued. However, another really interesting way to use this, because that would be the obvious way I think most people will go to to use this tool. The other great way to use this is to, um, to make edits of your creator's face and you can even use it on her own content um, where you can kind of make her look much younger. You can apply whatever filters you want in Facetune and then just face swap her out.